it. I have been catfished before. And my friends and family don't even think mahogany is real. Welcome back to 90 Day Trainwreck, aka 90 Day Fiance. Guys, today I have the tea on Ben and mahogany. Yeah, her name is supposedly mahogany. Let's break this down. I'm just gonna be straight up. Ben is 100% getting catfish from this girl named mahogany. So in the first clip, you can see that Mike is working on his motorcycle. He just seems like a nice guy. You know, he's a religious man. Um, he's been married and he's did the dating thing and then he stopped for a couple years and now he's back out. Honestly, I think that Ben is a pretty good looking guy and I'm surprised he's having trouble finding a good girl. He might just be dating too young, honestly. He says that a lot of girls find the religious thing unattractive and they just don't want to be involved with that and it turns them off, apparently. But there are so many religious girls out there that can appreciate that. So uh, I myself used to be very, very, very religious and trust me, there's a lot of women of all different ages that would like this guy and would appreciate that. So after he got back into the dating world, he met a woman named Mahogany on a dating website. So basically she was following him and he thought that she was pretty and he sent her away. But then a couple months ago, I met the most remarkable woman I've ever met in my life. Here's the thing guys, have you ever met somebody by the name of Mahogany? I'm asking for a friend. And that's one of the reasons why people think that he's getting catfished. Not only that, but she's 24 and all her pictures look like those prof those profiles where they use really pretty girls to catfish people. Like, we all know what those profiles look like. Unfortunately, the older generation doesn't know what that looks like. Uh, what that looks like so they typically get catfish and this is just another case of that I really think he should have gone on catfish before he went on 90 day fiance that's just my opinion so she messaged him said oh it's nice to meet you I think you also have great photos that's kind of weird because a 24 year old girl doesn't really talk like that I would know because I am a 24 year old girl you know maybe I'm just reading into it too much so I just did a little hand wave and I got a response we started DMing back and forth, and that has not stopped in the last 115 days. Maybe she does actually talk like that. Maybe she's real. Maybe there are girls that actually talk like that. Mahogany is actually from Peru, which is a beautiful country. I would personally love to go there. There is a 28-year age difference with <laughs> difference. Which, guys, when you think about it, 28 years. Like, I don't know how relations, relationships like that actually work. I can't imagine being 28 years younger than the person I'm dating. I just, I, I couldn't do it. I just, I, I couldn't do it. I just, I, the phases of life. I can't even date someone five years younger than me. So he's talking about how amazing she is, how beautiful her soul is from the inside and out. Just being really sweet. Like this guy actually thinks that she's like the most amazing girl. He's believing everything that she's telling him and she tells him, she's like, oh, I just feel like my purpose in life is to help people. And that's the thing. His family was like, okay, well, is she asking for money from you? He's like, no, she didn't ask for money, but she did ask for a loan. And they were like, so she's asking for money. And he's like, no, but it's a loan. It's not lending. Here's the thing, Ben. It is giving money when they plan to never, ever pay you back. And I promise you're not getting that $1,000 back. I promise. And I'm so sorry that this is happening to you, bro. But you, you just need to take your L and go home. I'm sure you can find somebody else that's just as beautiful and maybe closer to your age range the good thing is though the kids are like dad we think this girl is catfishing you but he's just not convinced his friends think that he's getting catfished um so at least he has people in his life trying to warn him she sent him a pre-recorded video which like that that's totally something a catfish person will do would do she, she sent a little message back and she's like trust me i would be reading this with a sweet smile on my face I say, I just want to see you face to face. This is hard, but God always gives us strength and patience for anything. And she says, life and things that are worth it are not easy. Believe me, if I was there, I would be saying this with a sweet smile on my face. <laughs> just trying to give me like the picture of how she's texting. It's just, it's so sweet. And that's just something so fishy to me. Like, it's almost like it's a dude behind the screen trying to really, he doesn't know how to act like a girl. So he's like, oh yeah, I have a very sweet smile on my face right now. It just seems kind of suspicious, if you ask me. It's a little sus. 
personally, I I think that he's being totally catfish. It's just it's really sad. Like I hate that this happens to people. And guys, if you watch the clips fully, you will see how gullible he really is. And it's just so sad. Like guys, you gotta be careful out there, okay? Don't get freaking catfish, like. So the next clip, we see Ben getting dropped off at the airport by his son, and his son is kind of just talking about like, you know, trying to get, be encouraging. He's trying to be happy for his dad, but he's also just like, dad, like, please be careful. And I think the best thing to do is when you're meeting somebody that you've been dating long distance is to keep your expectations low. I've actually been in long distance relationships more than I'd like to say. You know, everything is so different in person. Um, people are different in person, different than what you what you expect. I would tell the guy, I'd be like, hey, like, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I really liked him, and you know, it ended up working out for a period of time. Um, we actually got a lot along better in real life than on social media, and so that was a surprise to me. Um, but I'm happy that I kept my ex expectations low, and I really feel like that's what Ben needs to do. Okay, sorry, I need to put on this cute headband. I just feel like it was fitting the vibe so like I said his son is very being very smart and he tries to warn his dad as he's dropping his dad off at the airport but really his son knows for sure that his dad is getting catfished and there's just not much you can do about it so Ben is talking to the cameras about how deep their love is and how she knows everything about him and that she just knows the real him and he's opened up to her completely and I just have to say how much that sucks to open up to somebody that does not have good intentions or they're not being real with you and it's just a stranger that knows all of your secrets it just really sucks and honestly the person on the other end of this I just hope they know that karma is coming for them and that you can't just mess with people's feelings like that. You guys, you're not gonna believe what happens next. He's at the airport, actually traveling to Peru. First of all, think about how much money that costs, the time, the effort, the planning, the nerves, and then he gets a text from her. Just got a text. It's never encouraging. Just saying, your dad doesn't trust my intentions, and it is not wanting me to come. The text says that she's not sure that he should come because his parents, her dad, isn't sure about his intentions. So she doesn't think that he should come. If you need any more signs that this is a catfish, then you're the, you're the person that gets catfished. If you can't see how this is a giant red flag, you need to watch the show Catfish because catfish, you will see right away that this is just like what catfishes freaking do. I don't like catfishes. I don't like when people mess with other people's feelings. I feel like that's really bad karma. It gets worse. I guess we'll see if he decides to still go. Me personally, if I had already bought the ticket, taken the time, I would just go to Peru and I would stop talking to that person and I would enjoy myself. I would enjoy the sights, eat some food, and just have a vacation with myself. You know, I'd be like, screw you, I'm still going. I don't know about you guys, but... Okay, guys, this is where it gets worse. This is where it gets worse. Hold on to your bonnets. The thing that he admits on camera, I this is so embarrassing, I can't even believe that he admitted it, but he said that... My heart is just dropping through my chest because this actually isn't the first time that I've tried to meet Mahogany. So this is his second time trying to meet her. Honestly, I want to feel bad for him, but it's like, bro, come on. He wants to believe that this is her so bad. And like I said, I feel bad because I just feel like some adults are so naive to, you know, I'm older adults, I'm an adult, but older adults are naive to catfishes. And it just makes me sad to see like, bro, come on, just, just just take the L, bro. Just take the L and go home. We were both super excited, and we were counting down the days, even the hours. You mean, you mean you were so excited. So guys, go ahead and comment down below. What do you think about the situation? Do you think that Mike is getting catfished? And do you think Mahogany is actually this person's name, even if she's real? Like, have you ever met anyone named Mahogany? Are you excited to see the next clip? Do you think he's gonna ever, ever meet this Mahogany person? Whoever the casting people are for TLC, I just have to say, can I join the team? I would love to be a part of production. I would just, oh my gosh, wait, that would actually be so fun. Can I be a part of the production? If you guys want to see more of this, go ahead and let me know. Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's get to 70k. And please follow me on Instagram because I would actually really appreciate it. It. And I want to say nothing but love and light. I will see you in my next video. Love you so much. Bye